In this short video, which is based on a website allaboutvision.com, I'm going to point out some of the most important aspects of the eye as far as we're concerned for our purposes in this course. First of all, let's take a look here at the part that light first encounters when it's entering the eye. Here's the cornea. You can see from the note here, which is partly obscured from the screen, clear part of the eye covering the iris and pupil. This is what lets light in, so the cornea. Now the pupil, that's that round dot in the middle of the eye that actually lets the light in. The iris, which surrounds the pupil, is the thing that expands and contracts to vary the amount of light that comes in so that the, the eye isn't overwhelmed with too much light, but it can open up to let more light in in the very dark. Now let's take a look at the lens. This is actually something that can be focused by the eye squeezing the muscles around the eye, squeezing the lens a bit to help focus. The light comes through the eye. It's actually a jelly that lets the light pass through. So the eye isn't hollow, but it's filled up with this vitreous humor. And then the light falls on the retina. And this coating, which is shown here in orange, this is where the light rays are detected by cells that turn them into electrical impulses. The macula is the part of the retina near the center of focus. The cells are clustered there so that you can see things in greater detail. The fovea has only cones, not rods. They can see the most detail. So this part of the eye is where you typically focus if you want to see something very, very clearly. And finally, the optic nerve is the conduit of these signals to the brain. Now you'll notice here this optic nerve head results in a small blind spot. So there is a place in your eye where cells are not present to detect the light. But the fact that our vision overlaps with two eyes means that that blind spot in each eye is filled in by the other eye. 